While Tucson stages are still dark, there's lots of great art to experience. Here's three of our favorites. You have just two weeks left to see a great exhibit at the Etherton Gallery that features works by Deborah Bloomfield. Entitled Wild America, the show is work that was created over an extended period of time by Bloomfield in Alaska and features large black and white and color images that will help take the edge off the heat outside. Also on display are some classic images by one of the greatest nature photographers of all time, Ansel Adams. At the Arizona Snore Desert Museum's Ironwood Gallery, an exhibition entitled The Scratchboard Art of John Agnew is on display through September 7th. His images of animals are amazing, and he's recognized as one of the finest working in the medium today. The gallery is free to view with paid admission to the Desert Museum. Finally, a new art show at the Tana Chill Park is entitled Chili's. It opens this weekend and features artwork inspired by chilies, which have been part of civilization in many forms for hundreds of years. There's an opening reception for the artists at the gallery tomorrow night from 5.30 to 7.30, and the show will be up through November 9th. And now here's a look at this week's new movies. In The Expendables 3, the team comes face to face with Conrad Stonebanks, who years ago co-founded The Expendables. Stonebanks subsequently became a ruthless arms trader and someone who the team was forced to kill, or so they thought. Stonebanks is now in his mission to end The Expendables forever. Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, and the crew join newcomers Harrison Ford and Mel Gibson in the summer's explosion fest. Stan, man, you are still the best in the world. I need your help. The plot thickens. Set in the 1920s in the opulent Riviera in the south of France, Woody Allen's Magic in the Moonlight is a romantic comedy about a master magician trying to expose a psychic medium to the rich and famous as a fake. The film stars Colin Firth and Emma Stone and is a charming and safe period piece that is about as anti-big summer movie as you can get. What I'm about to tell you, you must never repeat to anyone. The Giver is based on the acclaimed book by Lois Lowry, which tells the story of a seemingly perfect world with one big secret. When Jonas is 12 years old, he's chosen to be the community's receiver of memories. He enters into training with an old man called The Giver. From The Giver, Jonas learns about pain, sadness, war, and all the unhappy truths of the real world. He quickly realizes that his community is an illusion. For News 4 Tucson, I'm Herb Stratford.